Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to download and install Pixelate for After Effects CC. Now this is going to be on Windows 10, but if you have a Mac, don't worry, the same steps and process will apply for you. Now the first step you're going to need to do to download this plugin for After Effects is to go to idesign.com slash product slash pixelate dash it. Now if you don't have to worry about typing this up, you can. I'm just going to have a link in the description of this video that you can just click on and it'll bring you right here. So the first thing to do is you're just going to scroll down and click add to cart for pixelate it and don't worry it's free right now for a limited time. Now you might want to pick this up as soon as possible because eventually this is going to be by the looks of this priced at seven dollars so highly recommend grabbing this product it's a really cool ej did an amazing job uh making this like it's incredible but uh, a lot of fun so we're just going to click add to cart and it'll load it in here and we can see here's our one item it's cost us nothing and we're going to click proceed to checkout now what you're going to do is you're going to type in your name last name and email address and click place order. What this is going to do is it's going to send you an email with a link to the download. You click that link and it will download it into your downloads folder. Now I happen to have a link already and I am going to click it and it is going to bring me gonna click right here. Now you can't see the email that he sent me. I'm gonna keep that uh, I'm gonna keep that into my thing. It's on my other monitors. You can't see it but just be there's a button on that email that says download it and you're gonna click that. So trust me it is definitely there and it'll download. You can see it popped up download. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to open our downloads folder. I'm gonna pull this over here so you guys can see and we have ignore all this other stuff that here is pixelate it. Now you can move this folder anywhere you want. For me I'm just going to keep it in my downloads folder and I'm just going to right click and do extract all. So I right clicked on here and I did extract all. Pulls up this dialog. I'm just going to extract it right here. There we go. It extracted that and here is our new file. So I'm going to double click to open it. Now we have two different folders in here. We have Pixelate It 1.0. This is for the Windows, and then we have the Mac OS X. I'm on a Windows. I'm just going to double click here. Don't worry, it's the same process. It's the same file. And inside here we have a few items. Here's the README on how to install it. And uh, you can read through here, and it's going to. Oh, it popped up my other monitor. You can read through here, and it'll go through the process on it. But uh, you won't have to do this because I'm showing you here in this video, so that won't be a problem. And uh, basically, all we have to do is click on this file, pixelateit.jsxbin. We're going to right click that, and we're going to do copy. Now that we have that, we're going to go to our local C drive. Now, Depending on the drive that you have After Effects installed on, this is going to differ, differ or change. So if you have your, if you know After Effects is on your E drive, then you're going to want to go that one. For me, I know it's on my C, and here's how you tell which drive After Effects is on. Just pick a drive, anyone randomly, and then go to Program Files, and then double click on Adobe. Now, if you see After Effects CC or whichever version you have in here, that's the drive you have After Effects on. If it's not in here, then check the next drive. For me, this is the right one, though. So we're just going to double click After Effects CC 2015. Then we're going to click Support Files. And then we're going to scroll down until we see Scripts. This is the Scripts folder. We're going to double click to open this. And then we're going to click on Script UI Panels. We're going to double click this. And now we're just going to right click in an empty spot and we're going to click paste and it's going to ask us for permission to put it in here we need administrative permission don't worry it's very safe i've tested it and it's very secure i'm going to click continue and it pastes it right in there and now we're good to go so i can actually close this and uh, I can cancel this because this is a uh, extract I did twice by accident trying to extract it, the folder. But we don't have to worry about this. You're not going to see this. It's just me. I did it twice. But now, if you haven't already had After Effects open, when you put this folder in, you're good to just launch it. Now, if you already had After Effects running when you tried to put that in, it's okay. You can. You're just going to have to restart After Effects. So make sure at this point, After Effects is fully closed. And now we click it to launch it. And this is going to boot up. Might take a few seconds for me. I have a few plugins for it to slow it down a little bit. And there we go. It's going to boot up. Now, here is how you um, run Pixelate within After Effects. Is you just go up here to Window, 
and you're going to go all the way down to pixelate it. Now here is a little, here's a reason I made this tutorial as well, is if you've never used a plugin that's a script like this before, here's what's going to happen when you try and run it. An issue pops up. Unable to execute script at line 30, permissions denied, and, perf and it shows you how to fix it. So here is how you fix this. What we're going to do is it'll just open up this panel for pixelate, but it won't work because of an issue. And here's how we fix this issue. You're going to go to File, or sorry, you're going to go to Edit. Yep, we're going to go to Edit right here. It's just going to go up and click on Edit, go down to Preferences, and click on General. Now it's going to open up this window. I put it on my other monitor, but I'm just going to pull it over. So it's going to, this is the window that's going to open up. And under General, we're going to click on Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network. This is the one we're going to check on, and we're going to click OK. Now that we've done this, if we go to Window and we click on Pixelate, it runs, and here we go. Here's our here's our button that we can click. So, just to prove that this is working, let's uh, let's import something. I have a daily render I've been doing, and this is a a 3D button that I made that kind of just spins around. So, we're just gonna pull this down here, and if we hit play, we can see that there is my looping GIF or GIF, however you pronounce that, spinning. And basically, what we're going to do now is we are going to. Click on this here, ignore that sound, that's my push a talk causing some issues. But we're just going to click on this and we're going to click pixelate. And instantly you can see we have this right here spinning just like that. And uh, yeah, there you go, it's fully uh, fully working, seems to be uh, doing pretty good. And we can also go to our effects panel right here and we can actually uh, change the slider to increase the uh, the level of pixelate actually happening here. And basically, yep, this is it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please leave a thumbs down. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.